Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Root Solutions video. I'm Rory Bocop and today I'm going to run through and demonstrate how we can create variable rounds within Creo Parametric 3. So I'm just going to open up Creo here and in my graphics window here I've got sort of a clutch handle um, that we're going to add a variable round along this edge here. So like you would any round, we pick our tool and choose our edge. And obviously we can give this a value. And that just creates a constant round along that edge. If we want to make this a variable round, there are a couple of different ways we can start that. So I can either drop down my sets tab and right click in this radius collector here and say add radius, or I can right click in the graphics window and say make variable. That gives us then a radius at each end, one at the start and one at the, one at the final end there. And we can double click on these values and we can change those values. That creates a nice basic variable round along the length of that curve. If we want to have a bit more control over this though, we can add in more radiuses to our round. So to do that, right click in the collector again and say add radius. We will then pop in an extra radius at a default location. If we want to reposition this, right click in the graphics window, say location reference. We can then pick a new point along our curve. Now currently that point I've chosen um, is just a random point along the length of this highlighted green curve here. And we can control where this point is, either by grabbing the circle and dragging, or we can use the value here. And this value is a ratio of the overall length of this line. So we can use this value to reposition our radius along the length of this curve. So if I change this to 0.5, that radius value is now in the center of this highlighted green curve. We can go in and then change the radius of this round. So we now have a round varying from 0.5 to 3, back to 1.5. Okay. We can then hit OK. If at any point though you want to remove a radius into the radius collector, right click and say delete. That will then remove that radius value. And if at any point you decide to go back to a constant radius, you can right click in the background and say make constant. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please leave those in the comment section. And if you have any ideas for further or future videos you'd like us to create, please leave those in the comments as well. Thank you.